Hey folks, this is IO3 and we're back playing some more World of Hanks. So this is IO Rock. He is currently in his VK45A, otherwise known as the Duck Tank by some. This is Runeberg on fire and sent counter map. And yeah. Yeah, 48% chance to win this thing. Okay. Well, so basically it's going to be an uphill battle the entire time. That's that's what you're saying, huh? Okay, well, let's, let's see what Ronick can do with it. Now, it looks like most of our team is heading into the city following Ronick. We have... We have actually a decent number of tanks. Six or seven tanks in the field. That's actually more than I was expecting to see. I was only expecting to see one or two tanks go out into the field, as that's what normally happens. But oh well, we actually have a, a cracked amount, a good amount of tanks out there. Now Ronick is set up in a nice defensive position, be looking for, through this tiny little gap, and the first tank that's going to around that corner is going to immediately regret it. Looks like he's got an IS-3 who's going to kind of spot for him, slash get in his way, but oh well, right? Now I'd like to see him actually flip around and you use his tank to side scrape, but oh well. Hey, it looks like somebody's trying to cap. That was a really silly idea on this map, especially the counter map. But apparently either he doesn't know any better or he's trying to commit suicide. Either way, he's about to be dead. There we go. One of eight tank down. We've actually already killed three of them. <laughs> Our Leopard and our Cromwell got the other two kills, so this game isn't looking to be that bad. We might actually be able to win this. You know, fairly handily. Oh, look, an IS out the open. Oh, unfortunately, Rana couldn't take the snapshot in time, and the IS managed to pull back. Oh, well. Oh, a KV-2. Now, the KV-2 is deadly against the tank Rana's driving because of the fact that Ronix tank doesn't have a whole lot of armor, and if the KV-2 can get the shell to go actually into him, it's going to do 800 damage or something like that. So, he's got to be, be really careful. Ooh, an AT-15A. AT-80. Um, but unfortunately for the AT-80, -AT, he's moved way too far out and is being hammered. Unfortunately, there's nothing can do. He's bit to get dead. Oh no, Rock missed a shot. See, that's why you don't zoom out just before you fire. I know, I know. You're gonna tell me you can do for some good reason, right? Damn. Wow. Well, it still screwed up your aim that time. Ooh, the Jag Panzer two just getting back behind the rock or behind cover in time. Uh, Ronix one is out of the cap. Able to pull back before the KV-2 could get a lock on him. Now that was either because the KV-2 had already fired, or because he just couldn't aim in fast enough to do anything. I don't know which it was, but either way, KV-2 is dead now, and it looks like Warnock's going to force the issue on the Jag Panther 2. Takes a shot in the face for it, but returns shot to the Jag Panther, and now he's going to try for some, ooh, some side scraping, and he gets his turret in exactly the right position, and bounces the shot, and then takes the shot from the Tiger too, taking his track off as well, where he's going to be in a really vulnerable position. Oh, unfortunately, he couldn't uh, repair his track in time to pull himself back into cover. And he's saving that repair kit. I think I personally would have used it in that situation to get myself back into cover, but Ronick didn't, so either way, he still has it. And we're about to win this thing. They only have five tanks left. They're all out in the field. We can cap from here. This is a game. I mean, Ronick's almost dead. Yeah, he, he doesn't have much, much hit points left. Oh, that's a full all Tiger P. Okay, yeah, that could be a problem. Cost. As it, you know, he's got full health and our team doesn't. And our T32 looks to be whittled, being whittled down right now. 
think we rocks got into a great position for side scraping. And it's just able to pop out, take his shots, and then pull back into cover. And these guys are taking trying to take long range shots onto the side of him. And none of these shots are gonna go in as long as these guys keep trying to take these super long range shots. Now it was actually HE that blew up on the side of the tank and did 70 damage to him. But other than that, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're starting to lose now though, which does matter. So we still have the T29 and the T32 up there holding back the enemies. Oh, Ronak makes sure to... <laughs> He's gonna kill this guy and... Oh, nope. He sneaks through. That's bad. That guy really does need to die. Oh, Unfortunately, it looks like we also have a T-29 who's about to murder our T-30... or KV-2. Nope! KV-2 takes him out. Good job, KV-2. Rock's in a weird spot here. He's trying to get shots on both sides of the triangle away from him. Come on, dude. Pull out. Let, 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 let us get a shot into your side. Come on. Now, now Rock fired that shot blind, hoping the guy had pulled out and he just couldn't see him. Oh, that's a Hellcat. I forgot there was even a Hellcat still in this game. That's bad. Oh, that's not good. Looks like our T-32 is about to go down. And Veronica is about to be left all alone against four tanks. Oh crap. Okay, putting a shot into that guy. Personally, I'd be switching over to gold right now. But Ronick is sticking with his regular ammo. Good. Nice kill on the Hellcat. Now these are both one-shots. These are everybody else left is a one-shot. However... They're all coming at him at the same time, which is what they need to do. He just needs to be able to pick them off one at a time. If he isn't going to survive this. Now, if somebody turns the corner and comes at him from behind, he's going to be in trouble. Nope, 110 is... Okay, the 110 just flew past and tried to, I don't know, take the shot of the move or something? I don't know what he was trying to do. But he got himself killed. And Ron can actually take a shot from the Tiger P without getting killed. And the fact that he's poked around this corner and doesn't see the Tiger P tells him the Tiger P took that corner. And yeah, he's trying to come up behind him. But, for the Tiger P, Ron is ready and waiting. Six and a half thousand experience for that game. Granted, it was a triple experience weekend and he had premium, but still. His Ace Tanker, the High Caliber Award, Top Gun, and Steel Wall. Steel Wall is something that was actually kind of surprising with this tank. This tank is not known for its armor, but he did so much side scraping that he earned himself that Steel Wall. You can see just how many tanks he humiliated <laughs> and made them feel weak and small. 4,300 damage done. Wow. That is more than the next two guys on his team combined. And they were actually the T29 and the T32 who survived until the end. Those guys deserve some props. They almost survived the game. And unfortunately, they just got pinched in a bad spot. One thing to note, that AT-AT in the beginning got zero damage done. And barely any experience for this game. Because of the fact that he charged and just didn't do anything. If he'd sat back and sniped, he could have easily carried that game for his team. 3,300 potential damage received and just barely eking into that steel wall with 11 hits received. That was a great game. He made almost 60 grand in credits with Premier Account. But that was so much fun to watch. Thank you so much, Ronick, for saying that. And thank you guys for watching and hitting that like or subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time this IOE throughout.